Hello everybody, and welcome to my first map. Sensitive is a game that holds a lot of memories with me personally, which is why I chose this game to try to emulate in Minecraft. Sensitive not only is a great little puzzle game made for the Commodore 64, but it's also one of the first games that was ever ported over as a, the original Xbox homebrew. It's a game originally created by Oliver Kerwa, in which the object of the game is to get to the exit while getting rid of all the necessary blocks within your way. Let me demonstrate what I mean. In this version of the game, gold blocks and emerald blocks all need to go away. Gold blocks, you can step on them once and they will disappear. Emerald blocks, you can either step on them twice or you can hover on them for long enough and they will go away. Note with the gold block, if you stand on it too long, you will also fall. Now, you should spawn in this map with everything that you need to start. However, if you do not, hit this prepare game variables button on the wall to make sure everything is set up properly. Being that this game was made in Minecraft, there are some things you can't exactly replicate that the original game is supposed to hold. For instance, there's no jumping in the original game. It is a top-down puzzle game in which you cannot jump, you cannot move diagonally, but being that this is Minecraft, those things can be allowed. Now I've tried to remedy some of that by, you can click on the no jumping option. However, it does get a little bit buggy. This is my first map. I cannot jump right now. However, if I continue to spam the space bar, you eventually can force yourself to jump. That is unintended. So just try to refrain from jumping as much as possible. Again, being that this is Minecraft, it's possible that if you walk on just the very edge of a block, it does not trigger the disappearing sequence. So be careful when you're walking that you're actually getting rid of the blocks you want to get rid of. As well as the fact that it's possible to walk diagonally across blocks, which is also not an intended consequence of the game. So just try to use the left, right, up, down type sequence in order to get rid of blocks in this game. You spawn in with a level select map. This map actually takes you back to the level select hub. So from wherever you're at, if you right click on this map, you will be teleported back here to the level select hub to either try a different level or change some of your settings. For example, if I were on level one and decided I wanted to be on level two instead, I could right click on this map, come back to the hub and then select level two. Now it is possible in this game that things can screw up a little bit. For instance, if you use the map and nothing happens, you might think you're screwed. But what you can really do is just use the kill command. It will respawn you, get everything set up again the way it's supposed to work, and the map will now work as it's intended, and you will not lose your progress in any of the levels. Now, there are a few ways to play this game. First off, if I go to a level, you can play it from first person view, which is the normal Minecraft way, but not the way the game was intended to be played. It gets a little bit tricky in some of the later levels when playing in this type of view. I personally suggest using F5 mode, hovering above you, and making it more like a top-down game, as it was intended to be. Some levels involve railroad tracks on the ground. Now this is an example I have set up in the back of the level select room for you to practice with and understand. But the railroad tracks allow you only to travel one direction across them, the direction the track is facing. So, for example, I cannot run into this block from this side. However, if I come into it from this side, I can easily pass through it. However, I cannot leave this block from an unintended direction. So therefore, you have to be very careful in planning when you come to levels that have these blocks. Notice I just took some damage right there. That is also an unintended consequence of the way that this works, but you may take some damage when it's spawning in your barrier block, so keep that in mind. Lapis blocks with a button on top of them are teleport blocks. Now, be very careful with these. They will teleport you to different sections of the map. However, if you miss the button and you're hovered over the level select, you can easily accidentally reset the level and go back to the hub. So always keep that in mind. Always also keep in mind the fact that if you are in F5 mode, you have to be perfectly centered in order to get this. I would suggest you scroll off of the level select and center yourself on top of the button before you start playing a level that has teleports. Now the game does save your progress in a way. It will tell you which levels you've actually completed. As you can see, I have completed levels 1 and 2 
shown by the green blocks below them. Now, this gives you a nice way to find out what level you last left off at, but if you would like to reset and try again, there's a reset levels option over here. Just click that button, everything goes back to a not green colored wool, and you are ready to start again. So how does the game actually work? Well, let's watch somebody play. Here's Cthulhu getting ready to play this game. Now the object is to get rid of all the gold blocks and then make your way over to the diamond blocks to complete the level. So Cthulhu plans out his route, lines up his path, and he is off. Get rid of some of those gold blocks, some gold blocks, some more gold blocks, and then he realizes he's stuck. So he resets the level and thinks, how do I do this? Oh, I have to get rid of this goal block in this order. This game does get very tricky and this is just level one. Notice he steps onto the diamond block and instantly, once he's completed the level, is transported to level two. Now level two looks straightforward enough. So let's just walk on this path and see what happens. But you know what? If you don't go fast enough, that's what happens to you right there. You don't make it. You gotta keep moving in this game and make sure you get to the end while getting rid of all of the blocks in your way. The levels get harder and harder as you move on though. In this example, we have some emerald blocks to deal with. So let's see how Cthulhu can handle himself. At this point, he knows that he's left himself no way to complete this level. And when he reaches the diamond blocks, nothing happens. So he's got to try again and see if he can get rid of these emerald blocks. But if you think I'm going to give you the solution to all of the levels in this intro video, you're wrong. You're going to have to figure some of them out for yourself. This is just an example of some of the ways people can fail. Currently, the first 18 levels of Sensitive are what I've ported over thus far. I plan on doing more soon, but let's see how you do with the first 18 levels. The download link is in the description. Enjoy. Jay Sano, without intro music. Jay Sano, with intro music. Intro music remix.